So I don't know if you guys know, but Nick Cannon did a interview mm-hmm. on a podcast recently where he basically said that, you know, one of the reasons, I guess, why him and Mariah Carey had divorced or like an issue that affected their marriage and I guess maybe led to divorce was he got married to Mariah Carey when he was in his 20s. And the trajectory of Mariah Carey was already so far gone that his trajectory was like nowhere close mm-hmm. to her. And he was like, he felt like he was like going to be known as Mariah Carey's man rather than Nick Cannon. And then he's like, when they had kids, he's like, then you're holding the diaper bags. You had to feel like your manhood's in question. Mm-hmm. So he was like, that was like, I guess like his insecurity. He's like, yeah, but he said he admitted like Mariah Carey was great. Like we never fought. Like the love was really pure. Just like in my head, I couldn't get over like, I'm just Mariah Carey's man. And she has this like household name, which I think is so stupid because like, you knew who Mariah Carey was when you married her, but like, whatever. So then we're talking about that, like, in like a car, I think like an Uber, we're at, like one of our events, whatever, whatever, like our team. <clears throat> and a girl I work with said, she believes that in relationships, there's talent and there's management. You, both of you can't be talent and both of you can't be management. Mm. The best balance in a relationship is when one person's a talent, one person's a management, and they're both okay with that. And I kind of agree. Now that I, I thought about most relationships uh-huh. that I know. And I kind of agree. You mean regular life or celebrities? Regular too? life. Cause okay, regular life, yeah. Cause celebrities, most both. Even of them when are you th- no, talent. even when you think of celebrities, there's always one who's the talent. Jay- Beyonce, Jay-Z Beyonce, Beyonce and Jay Z. Beyonce's talent mm. and Jay Z's management. Yeah, I'm with that. Rihanna and Rocky. Rihanna's call- talent, Rocky's management. Yeah. Beyonce is definitely talent, but I wouldn't call Jay Z management. I would. Cause Jay Z. Beyonce is definitely a bigger star, but Jay Z is not taking a back seat to Beyonce, though. Yes, he does. You you hear the he jokes about Jay Z? He doesn't uh, take Beyonce's a back husband. seat in his life, but yeah. to her, he does. Like in his own right, Sean Carter, we know, is a household name. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to his wife, he takes the back seat 110%. Yeah, in terms of. Mm-hmm. And that's my point. In the relationship, you have to have talent and management. My parents, my dad was talent, my mom was management. But what I'm saying is, my grandparents, is like my grandfather was talent, my grandmother was management. But what's the middle? Because I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't see Jay Z as management. He's Beyonce is definitely a step above, but I don't think he's far enough behind to be called management. I don't think you have to be so far like he enough doesn't, behind. Like I mean, what is the because Chris Jenner's management for her, all of her daughters, but she's still fucking Chris Jenner. You see what but I that's mean? Like not you a don't relationship. have. That's... Yes, but I'm saying when you're you're using trying to the term management versus what? <laughs> nah, it's just funny hearing Chris Jenner as management because that's like another word for like yeah, <laughs> like what? A, a pimp. No. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yes, but like I think you're looking at it like too like you're thinking of management as like so far below the talent. That's not necessarily true because you could be management and still have a crazy household name for yourself. You're, it's a relationship. You're just taking a back seat to your partner. When it comes to Beyonce and Jay Z, he takes a step back for her. Hundred, you can't say that. Like they're, they're not. No, it's not. What thing. what gender do you think typically ascribes to each one? Usually, the man is talent. Okay. Right. So mm-hmm. I feel like whenever the woman is talent, mm-hmm. it takes a certain it's type of man, for men to, to be yeah. management, unless he has his own, like. Unless you're kind of like a obviously this extreme case like Jay Z. Yeah. Where like mm-hmm. you're kind of doing your own thing, you're comfortable in that, whatever, whatever. My wife's talent. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my own thing when it comes to her. Mm-hmm. I'm talent or I'm management. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's so let's play some management uh, talent. <laughs> let's play the game uh, called management. D Wade, Gabrielle Union. Uh, D Wade's the talent. D Wade's talent. Yeah. talent. Yeah. D Wade's. Right it's crazy because he's retired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I would still say D Wade's talent. Gabrielle's management. I'd agree. Yeah. I'd agree. I think so. What you think, you're thinking about the last t- talent Perry movie? Like, what are you? Hey, come on! Don't do that to Gabrielle. <laughs> yeah, don't fault. do that to Gabby. My fault, Gabby. But Rihanna's D-Wade, talent. D Wade's D Wade's name holds more weight than Gabrielle Union. Yeah, but we're talking about like who's active in the career right now, though. Right? Even th- to this day, D Wade's name holds yeah, more weight. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I would uh, say that. I, Lala Mello, Mello's talent, Lala's management. Even when he's retired, even though she's trying to like make it. Well, they're not together anymore. But that's the thing, right? When both people try to be talent, it, it kind of mm. you know. When is that? What, what are examples of that? Mariah Carey and the Cannon. I, like, I, I will say this: that Justin helps. Bieber, that helps Selena your Gomez. coworkers' point. Mm-hmm. Because we're t- we named a few athletes, and then now we're like, mm, what about when they retired? Because the retirement rate must be stupid high for former NBA players, right? So maybe that gets out of whack. 
Mm. Maybe they were used to playing those positions and then it gets out of whack mm. when they're retired. That, right. That's why that's I, a good point. That's mm. why I don't think like it's a good analogy and I like it lands, you know, you can you can think about that, the talent, the management. Um, I like to re- I think something that kind of helps you with like the long term and what would probably help those NBA guys that are the shit their whole life. And then at like 30 something, they all of a sudden are Not management. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever saw Chris Rock's special called Tambourine. Mm-mm. Um. Oh yeah, classic. He, he, it's it's the one where he says he says that line that like always gets quoted by incel pages. The only things that get loved unconditionally are men and dogs, or sorry, women and dogs, or mm. something like that. Mm. Anyways, yeah. he goes on this whole spiel about how he got divorced and all the things with his wife. Like the whole special is about his wife, and he was saying basically that like the the last bit he says is like sometimes you got to learn how to play that fucking tambourine, and like mm. he makes all these jokes about how like the guy on stage with the tambourine. This is all he's doing, you know, and it's like all the glories to the lead singer and the guitarist and everything like that. And it's like every night. But I kind of feel like a relationship isn't like some nights you're going to be on lead. And then like some nights you got to fucking play the tambourine, Mm -hmm. you know, and I think it's more that that. sometimes you are going to be the talent. Sometimes you got to manage it. Like, I, I think it flips, you know, yeah, and you got to be and you got to be able to do both. I think it's inter- I think it can be interchangeable. I think there's some times where, like, if you're both in different directions in order to maintain a relationship, it's OK. I think Michelle Obama something similar, right? Like, I got to take the She said she seat. was unhappy for more than 10 years at a time. She said she had 10 year, like, spiels of going through, like, you know. Mm. Yeah. Tom Brady and Giselle, whatever her name is. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. That's a really because Giselle's richer, but I would still. Is she? Well, yeah, she holds. is. Yeah, her name holds name more weight role. in America. Calm down. I didn't even finish my sentence. Okay, I just want to make sure that Tom Brady's name is heavy. Holds more in America. Well, finish your sentence. What was it? I was gonna say like his name is more of like a. Well, as always said, like in America, I would say yeah. specifically. holds mm-hmm. more weight. But Giselle's name is worldwide. Mm-hmm. Like she's a worldwide supermodel. You can't even argue that. Like, is she the goat supermodel? She's up there. But Tom Brady's not up there. He's the goat football player. I feel like it's hard to name a goat supermodel, like the mm. best ever, because it's so like. I, is she subjective. bigger than like Kate Moss and? She might be Naomi. Tyra on that. And she Naomi might Campbell? be. She's like on that level, like okay. Naomi, mm. Tyra, Giselle. One of the big three, you would say. Uh, nah. But my thing is, of what time? Though? Okay, like, well, regardless, that shit didn't last. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she, wanted, she yeah. wanted to learn kung fu. So, yeah. you know. but my thing go. is, maybe because be remember, why. she wasn't willing to take a back seat for that long. Mm-hmm. Right? Remember, she uh, from what she I read, it's my turn to be talent. Yeah, she was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. you need to retire, like dead this shit type yeah. thing." Yeah, right? come home. He said, "Baby, nah, I need that one more ring." Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, do and now she's pregnant again. Do you think he would trade that seventh ring to like still be married? I think in hindsight, I I, probably. I you think so? I think I think in hindsight he would. Really? But in the moment, like yeah, I, I think know. just as a competitor, I don't think because there's not that b- one to two is a big difference. Mm-hmm. Two to three even is a big difference. Six to seven is not that doesn't change the mm-hmm. your ranking because mm-hmm. you're so I think he could, Yeah, I think yeah, he yeah. could have given up the last one. I think in hindsight, he'd probably say he would have gave up the la- the Buccaneers ring to <laughs> keep I his family keep intact. His family together. I, don't, I, I feel like winning a Super Bowl is the hardest team sport championship to win. And like to win. Yeah, because you only have one shot. To win, yeah. to win like three, four of those things, five of those things and to still. And everyone's like, yeah, you're the one. You're is the goal. Is he goat. the most decorated? You, He's he's like Michael rings? Jordan, yeah. Most, yeah. most yeah. rings in the NFL history, I think so. Yeah. That's what I mean. To do that that yeah. many times, it's not like basketball, you know. Like I to agree. do that football season in your like forties and like late thirties and stuff, that, like you're a little psychopathic, like you know, like you, I think he would. I think it might it's be. Right I, I agree. <laughs> I think it's harder to win an a NFL championship than oh, it wait. is an NBA championship. Hell yeah. You got 16 games to, to, to get it together. Yeah. Because you, know? you literally only have one. Like, there's no, like, game one, you win. Like, like, like you literally only have one shot. Yeah, this, yeah. There's this one game, and if you don't win this game, your season is done. Holy shit. Tom Brady has more Super Bowls than any team. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, what? <laughs> it's different. It's different. <laughs> that's crazy. Because <laughs> he won six with the Patriots, and that's right. the most in NFL history. And then he won one other with Tampa Bay. 
So he does have seven. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you. Oh, I thought you meant like he lost the seven. No, no, he which, got his seventh and oh, lost his marriage. Oh, but lost his marriage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're lost a bit of a, You're a bit of a lunatic to <laughs> to get there in life. Mm-hmm. I wonder how strict I would have to be that. If my husband went back and won, that mm-hmm. I'm still telling him to fuck off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, I wonder how fed up uh, I would have to be to be like you. And like, I probably want to be like, okay, if he won, right? You know, you got it. You won. Now you're done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you but, watch uh, Challengers with Zendaya? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was so, like the final scene. Like whoever wins gets my heart. Oh God, please. So what? what about that? Zendaya, Tom Holland. Ooh. Ooh, she's talent, and he admits it. Ooh, yeah, there you go. I'll give it to Zendaya. He's Zendaya. talent, and she admits it. Uh, I'll give Tom, it to Zendaya. But don't get me wrong. Like I said, think about it in their relationship, not Tom yeah. Holland as a name. Yeah, in their relationship, she's talent, yes, yes. and he's management. Because because yeah, Tom because Tom Holland, you know the the LeBron look at the ball shoot the three meme. Yeah, that's him with Spider Man. That's all he got. <laughs> that's all he got. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean Zendaya. No the, matter how much I didn't like her perform, yeah. <laughs> no matter how much I didn't like her performance in Dune Two, she's like the biggest female actress in the world. That's like not in her thirties or forties. Yeah, and yeah, she's I'd like a so. household name when it mm. comes to like fashion, right? Like she's she's up there, fashion, mm-hmm. beauty, act, yeah. like she's yeah. Like I said, but regard, like he's obviously still Tom Holland, but in the relationship, she's talent, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he it. alludes to that. Yeah, all the he time. defers yeah. to her all the time. Yeah, bro. like he. He knows that she's the talent. Yeah. I guess that's why it's gonna last. All right. I think they'll last. Hopefully, I, I, I like, like I like together. your coworkers' theory. I like it too. Yeah, cosine. I think cosine. Uh, fun little fun fact that just about winning in championships. Magic Johnson has fifteen total championships. Fifteen. Magic Johnson. Yes, five Which as a player. A part of five as an organizational like executive member, oh. and then one with the Dodgers, and then I think he just won one in like a women's professional league somewhere for soccer, like. Because he's involved with all these teams? Yeah. Mm. Shit. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Talk about people who are just yeah. winners dedicated mm. to this shit. 